But let's get right into the topics. All right, we day number 963. I trust that you are ready for an awesome week as we kick into what God has for us in Jesus' mighty name. All right, so let's deal with the topic entitled, Pay Your Taxes. Pay Your Taxes. Romans 13 verse 6 says this, For because of this, you also pay taxes, for they are God's ministers attending continually to this very thing. So God is calling us to pay our taxes. Now, when we deal with this, the Bible says very clearly, Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. And we need to believe God that we have sufficient to pay the taxes. Now, here comes the challenge. The Bible says that they are to do certain things with those taxes and they will do certain things. Now, what if they're not doing that? Okay, so now we sit down and we begrudge and we start doing things. Remember this. It's not what happens after I'm obedient. It does not give me the right when I see things are not being done correctly to become disobedient or dishonest. God says he has to take that responsibility and he has to sort it out. I still have to do the right thing so that God's blessing flows on my life. And so, if I'm moaning about taxes, then I need to trust God for more income so that I can pay the taxes. So that we, when we pay tax, we can pay it with a smile. You know, when, when I pay the taxes over for our staff, I'm actually doing it with a smile. I don't have a heavy heart. I don't sit down and say, listen... Um, you know, this is terrible and you know, look how much we pay. No, I'm saying, God, I bless the, the government. I bless them. I thank you, Lord, that you're going to guide them and lead them and direct them. Because I want the blessing of God to flow in our lives. Now, it is wise to sit and structure your taxes legally and make sure that you, where you can deduct things and you can get uh, claims back, then do that. You just unwise if you don't understand or get somebody to help you. Okay? I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is don't do stuff underhanded. Don't do stuff under the table. And you might even have a right motive and say, well, you know, I'll keep this and pay the, give it to some poor guy, or I'm going to, you know, some people even say, listen, we'll take it and go fix the potholes. That's not biblical, so be careful. Be careful. We have to do things according to the Word of God. When we do things according to the Word of God, God's Word works and the blessing comes. And God wants to bless us. He wants to use us. And He wants to get us to the place that He has for us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen? And so, this morning, as we come around the table, let us thank God that God is in control of our nation. And that as we do what God has called us to do, he will use us. He will get us to the place that He has for us as well as sort out everything else. Alright? Because we as the body of Christ are going to do the right thing. And when we do the right thing, God moves. Alright, so on the night that Jesus was betrayed, He took bread and broke it. And He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing in Jesus' name. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so when we come before God, let us call on the covenant that was paid for for us. Let us thank God for the covenant that was paid for. And let's believe God for the supernatural move of the Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen? Lord, we thank you right now that you'll forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive, any wrong intention. I ask you please to forgive us and to wash us white as snow. Lord, I thank you that you're going to do something supernatural in and through each believer in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you that you love us so much, that you care for us. Lord, that you are going to raise up men and women who are going to do mighty exploits for you, and Lord, I thank you, Lord, that as we come around the table today, Lord, that we will be honest with our taxes. We will obey the word of the Lord and we will obey your, your principles. And Father, I thank you that it activates a blessing. Lord, right now, I thank you that as we take of the elements, Lord, that you will deal with our hearts. 
Lord, where we might have an issue with injustice, an issue with um, corruption or whatever it may be. Father, I pray that you'll just settle our hearts in Jesus' name. And Lord, that that will get out of our spirit in the name of Jesus. And Lord, that we will stay submitted to you and we'll do what you're calling us to do in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for the dynamous power of God to flow through our physical bodies. I command every form and sign of sickness to leave us in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed by the power of God. From the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet, we are healed. Lord, I thank you, the Spirit of God that dwells inside of us, quicken our mortal bodies, and that there is no symptom of sickness in our bodies anymore. Father, that we have divine healing and divine health that flows in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks. I want to tell you, it's been an amazing 11 days for us. All right, as we have uh, just gone through our inner healing and we have been busy with it, I want you to know that very soon I'm going to release a video on it. And I want to just let you know how it works, how it operates, what you can expect. All right. Because it is absolutely amazing and God is busy with each one of us. And I want to tell you, it was amazing for all of the leaders. Um, yes, it took a bit of commitment to be able to sit for 11 days under that ministry in the sense of just time, you know, and, and our long hours. But I want to tell you, God is moving and God is sorting us out. And God is busy with things in our lives. And so we are believing Him for the supernatural and the supernatural flow of His Spirit in our lives. Amen. All right, as I said, I'm going to cut a video about it to explain it, and then uh, I trust that it will help you. All right, so right now, I want to say that we are leaving, okay, this afternoon. We are on our way um, to Jeffreys Bay, and so I want you to please have a look. We're going to put up the thing in all the groups, also on, uh, on uh, Facebook, where you can meet us. Jeffreys today, tomorrow, Plet. Then we go to Neisner, then we go to Marshall Bay, then we go to George, and then we go to Oatshorn, and then we come home. Okay? So this whole week, we are going to be in a different place every night. So please, I want to encourage you to come and join us. And then uh, Friday night, we are going to be in George. And there is an impartation time. So if you want to travel and get there, I want to say it's going to be a big event. That's where the big one is, that we are bringing everybody in. Okay? So we're bringing uh, the team in and everybody's flying in for that one so that we've got the impartation to minister to you and we're going to activate your gifts. But as we go down and we have a meet and greet uh, to all the other places, I will minister to anybody who needs ministry. Okay, it's much easier when we've got smaller groups and so we're just going to minister to you right down the garden route and we're going to just bless you as we go. Amen. All right. And then I want to just remind you about our books. All right, they are selling very, very fast. And I want to say that this is an investment for Christmas. And I want to just say that our deliveries are working very, very well. We not, the people are all getting their books and they're getting it quick. Okay, so please, if you want to uh, order books, you're welcome to order them um, at DrArthurFrost.com or you can get it at Take A Lot, go into the book section and look up 365 Communion and you'll find it there. Okay, under uh, Take A Lot. And so please have a look. And also our um, COVID story books have become very popular. And people are really looking for those books. So you can get that at Dr. Arthur Frost as well. All right. So I want to just bless you. I want to say, guys, let's get the word in. Let's get the word to the people. Amen. And I want to just say that by the end of the month, I'm going to be busy with our Advent countdown to Christmas. And it's going to be very, very exciting. Okay. I just see that somebody said that they're watching for the very first time. Well, God bless you. I want to welcome you and uh, I hope you enjoy your day. All right. So right now we are going to pray. Listen, guys, it is November. It's the end of November. The pressure's on. The people are carrying a lot of load. We are going to pray together. We're going to just carry each other as we get through the season. All right. Let's pray. Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, that you are in control. And Lord, right now I want to pray and lift up the arms of every single person in our nation. 
Lord, I thank you that as we carry pressure and loads at this time of the year and all the functions we have to attend, Father, I pray a supernatural rest and empowerment on our bodies. Lord, that we will be able to carry this, uh, this excessive load for now. But God, I pray that we will work accurately. Lord, that we will work um, precisely and that we'll do a good job in everything that we need to do. Father, I pray right now that as we hold each other's arms up, Lord, that we can pray for each other and stand with one another and just allow the Spirit of God to carry us in Jesus' name. Father, I release the anointing and the power of God on each individual in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, right now, I thank you that as we pray together and stand together, Lord, that you'll bless each and every company because we are building altars. We are restricting the evil one. And Father, I thank you, Lord, that you're going to do something supernatural for each and every one in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for the anointing of God and the power of God that flows. And Lord, I thank you that you're going to do something supernatural and special for each and every business over this season in Jesus' name. Supernatural deals, divine connections, supernatural contracts to take place in Jesus' name. Lord, I come against <coughs> this attack on our economy. Father, I pray a blessing over this economy. Lord, that our land will get stronger in Jesus' name. Lord, that the blessing of God will be made manifest in our nation in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your blessing and anointing to rest on each and every one. And Father, we pray for the farmers today. Thank you for your blessing upon them and protection over them and their staff. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I want to remind you that it's Monday. It's Bible College and it's Kings and Priests. So I want you please to get ready for that. I want you to get geared up for that. And uh, I want you to know that it's going to be an awesome time yet again. All right, so I'm going to see you again tomorrow morning. Um, I will be broadcasting. Where am I tomorrow morning? Jeffries, okay? I'll be broadcasting from Jeffries tomorrow morning, and we'll be going down the coast, and we'll broadcast as we go. All right, so let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, Prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want to say, go out with might, go out with valor, and go and do what Jesus Christ has called you to do. We love you lots. Go and have an awesome day in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to bless you. I want to say, go and have an awesome week. Allow the Spirit of God to lead you and guide you. And remember at all times, walk your areas, keep your atmospheres open in Jesus' mighty name.